How's it guys? Welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos, art videos, recipes, crafts, DIYs, mixed media, happy melon hauls, fountain pens and fountain pen ink, and sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video. So if any of the genres sound appealing to you, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, today is day 7 in my 25 days of ink. And I will be sharing mistletoe. From the Diamine Blue edition. It is a standard ink and I am going to ink up with this. This is my Pilot Kukuno with a fine nib and clear. So hang on to your hats and enjoy the ride and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. on parchment paper. It's a very beautiful color. Love this green. Here it is on the vellum. Very pretty. And then here it is in my Roku Shop Enigma 68 GSM Tomoy River Paper. It is a very lovely dark green with some black hints to it. It's a complex color and there's it looks like there's even a little bit of gold there. You can see it there. 
And this is a standard ink, but it, sh it sheens somewhat, as you can see there. Very pretty. And then we have another Taroko Shop Enigma. And here is what it looks like. It all inked up and written with the pen. It's a very fine point pen. So some pens fare differently. And here it is on the in my Hobonichi notebook, 52 GSM Tomoe River paper. So if you need to write and your space is limited or you just like to write small, this is a good pen for that. It's a nice starter pen. And I just had never inked that up ever, so I wanted to go ahead and take this opportunity to. Here it is in my trusty Lloyd's Term 1917. Very nice. And last, but certainly not least, I have the swatch card. So here is the coloring swatch card. It's, you can see it sheening in the light. Hopefully the camera will pick it up so you can see. It's a very complex green actually. Even some hints of not only just the gold throughout, but black with that as well. And here is the pipette side. You can really tell on that side. Very nice. So I like this pen. And it has a con, well, it didn't come with, the, these pens don't come with converters. So um, this is a con 70 converter, push button type, Pilot Kakuno. The cap just comes off like that. It posts like, or goes back on like that. And the entire pen is clear. You can see the ink. I didn't put very much in because I have a lot of pens inked up. The Nibis Silver has a smiley face on it, and it is a fine nib. The smiley face is always facing up, so you know you're writing correctly. There are rivets in here on the grip section. It doesn't bother me. So, I like the clear pen. It does post, if you care to post it, and it's a very lightweight pen. Very, very inexpensive. Very good starter pen. So, I thought it would pair nicely with the green since it is a clear pen. And here it is on the sticker paper for the label. It's a very nice green. It's olive green, basically. And it's very, very pretty. Here it goes. So, that is my share for today on day seven of my 25 days of ink. So, if you liked what yourself, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I wish you all a very beautiful day. Peace out.